Good afternoon, everyone. For this day, we're about to talk about the curve cycle. Topic to be discussed. All about curve cycle, the origin name of curve cycle, and the other name of curve cycle, and why is it called like that? Where does curve cycle happen? Eight sequential reaction. What did curve cycle produce? Curve cycle itself was finally identified in 1937 by Hans Adolf Kirbsan. While, the, while at the University of Sheffield, for which the former received the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1953. The citric acid cycle, also known as curve cycle, is involved in cell respiration and produces NADH. NADH and PADH2 for the electron transfer chain. The curve cycle also produces two ATP. But much more ATP is produced later in the electron transfer chain so that it's not its main purpose. Curve cycle is also known as the citric acid cycle because citric acid cycle is considered as initial product and the final reactant which contains three carbolic groups. Curve cycles is also called as the tri tricarbolic acid cycle because the one of the product, citric acid contains three carbolic group. Hello. So in step one, it is the condensation. The condensation reaction is when the smaller molecules join to form a larger one by removing functions groups that form a small molecules, often water. So in condensation, the acetyl group and the coenzyme A was separated. Then the co and the acetyl group was combined with the oxaloacetate which has two carbon with the which is the acid group has two carbons and the oxalic acetate has four carbons so when it is converted it becomes the citrate with the six carbons so in step two as isomerization isomerization is the reducing of a molecule from its isomer so the citrate they arrange the atoms by removing or adding a water molecule then it becomes converted to the isomer which is the isocitrate so the next step is step 3 oxidative decarboxylation um, here the isocitrate is oxidized into alpha ketoglutarate by the enzyme um, isocitrate dehydrogenase and in this reaction a molecule of NAD is reduced to NADH and a molecule of carbon dioxide is generated. Hence, alpha-ketoglutarate is a 5-carbon compound since one molecule is lost into carbon dioxide. So the next step, step 4 is still the same but here, alpha-ketoglutarate is converted to succinyl-CoA by the enzyme alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. And in this reaction also, a molecule of NAD is reduced to NADH and a molecule of carbon dioxide is released. Hence, succinyl-CoA is a four-carbon compound. Step number five, substrate and level of phosphorylation. The succinyl and coenzyme A will, se will be separated and the phosphate group will be taken over the place. And when the phosphate group already take over the place, the phosphate group will transfer into GDP and it will convert it into GTP. And when it transfers to the phosphate group into ADP to form ATP. Step 6. The oxidation or the hydrogenation. The succinate will oxidize and going and convert into fat. And then two hydrogen atoms will appear and going to form fat H2 and the resulting compound is fumarate. Step 8. Last, malate is converted to oxaloacetate by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase. NAD is reduced to, reduced to NADH for carbon compound. To calculate the output of the Kreft cycle, uh, multiply each by two because each glucose is split into two pyruvate molecules. So, uh, one turn of the Krebs cycle produces 3 NADH, 1 FADH2, and 1 ATP or GTP. If it turns 2 times, it produces 6 NADH, 2 FADH2, and 1 ATP or GTP. 
So for the last one, we will summarize it with illustration. So step one is the acetyl CoA, which is a two-carbon compound combined with oxaloacetate, which is a four-carbon compound with the help or catalyzed by an enzyme of citrate synthase to form citrate, which is a six-carbon compound. Then the next one, citrate is I summarized to become isocitrate with the use of an enzyme alkalinase. Step three, we have oxidative decarboxylation. We have isocitrate with the help of isocitrate dehydrogenase. It, it becomes oxidized and loses carbon dioxide to form alpha ketoglutarate. And the next step, alpha ketoglutarate is then also oxidized with the help of alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase and it loses another carbon dioxide making it 4 carbon compound so the succinyl CoA is a again become succinate with the use of an enzyme succinyl CoA synthase and use GDP 1 GDP then the next one is the succinate is um, become foam rate with the use of succinate dehydrogenase. And here we see foam rate with the addition of water molecule in the head with, with the help of an enzyme called fumarase to form malate. And malate is then oxidized which reduces NAD plus to NADH with the help of malate dehydrogenase to form oxaloacetate. And in foam rate, in improvement stage, QH2 is released to, uh, that, be, that to be used to form fat H2. So, um, in, summer, in summarize, this cycle, um, it, it happens twice to form uh, the produce or the byproduct of the Krebs cycle. Yes. So, let's have our recap. The Krebs cycle is also known as citric acid or triboxylic acid cycle. It is a sequence of reactions most living cells use to generate energy during cellular respiration, aerobic respiration. For every glucose absorbed, the cycle runs two times. Why? Because in glycolysis, uh, the glucose is broken down into two pyruvates. The Krebs cycle, as you can see, takes place after the glycolysis and to ETC or the electron transport chain. It happens in the mitochondria matrix and what happens in the cycle is that it consumes oxygen, uh, its byproducts are carbon dioxide and water and it converts ADP to ADP.